Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create presentations with Gamma AI. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So how do we create presentations with Gamma AI? Well, the first thing that we need to do here is we need to have an account with Gamma AI, which in this case, you just need to go to gamma.up. And from here at the top right, you should be able to see a sign up or lock in button. But if you already have an account here, let's get started on creating our presentation. So first things first, in your dashboard here, the first thing you'll see is your section that says all gammas. Now what we need to do is we need to create a new presentation. Click on create new AI, click on it, and you have three options. We have paste in text, generate, and import a file. Now, if you choose paste in text, you'll be able to create from notes or outlines that you have or existing content that you have. But if you choose generate, you will be able to create from one line prompts in a few seconds. So whether you just have one line of topic or a simple title, you could actually create a presentation from that. But we also have the import a file. So in this case, if you have like an existing presentation or document, you could actually import that and create a presentation based from your document. But in this case, we'll be using the generate option here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, it's going to say, describe what you like to make. So in this case, maybe I want to have a history of art. So I'll just type in history of art. Now from here, what we need to do is we want to further customize a few things here. Now you could choose how many cards that you have on your presentation. So for the free account in Gamma here, you could have up to 10 cards, but if you want to use 15 cards or 30 cards uh, option here, you need to have either the plus or pro plan for you to start using it. But in this case, we're good with eight cards. Now you could also choose the language you wanna use. So there's going to be a lot of languages that you could actually use here. But for now, there's going to use, we are going to use English. Now, by the way, if you want to create a website or a document, you could choose that option. But since we want to create a presentation, we're going to stick with that and click on generate outline. Now from here, it's going to start generating our outline. So as you can see, it go, it's going to be eight outlines here. So since we chose eight cards, it's going to give us eight topics for each card. Now in this case, if you want to uh, basically edit a few things here, like for example, if you want to change prehistoric art here and change it to medieval art, you could actually do that. So in this case, maybe I want to say prehistoric art and colors. Let's just add colors at the very end. Now from here, we want to organize the topic itself. Like for example, if you want to arrange the Renaissance art on top of medieval art, you could go ahead and do that by just clicking and dragging it into the specific section. As you can see, I'll be able to move Renaissance art again underneath medieval art by doing that. In this case, you could go ahead and start reviewing it. And if you want to add further cards, just click on add card here and add the topic for that card. Now, you also have the settings here. So we have the brief, medium or detailed. So you'll be able to uh, indicate how much text you want to include in one card. Also have the image source here. We have either web image search or the new AI images. So in this case, it will actually generate original images and graphics with AI. Now you also have the option here to choose the image style here. Also, we have web image search here. So in this case, you have, you'll have the all images section. So in this case, you have free to use, free to use commercially. But to choose AI images here, you just need to describe what type or what style the images would actually turn out. So let's just say it is going to be abstract. But in this case, whenever you're actually typing something into AI uh, platforms, it is recommended that you be descriptive as much as you can. In this case, I'm just going to use abstract here as a general idea. Now, you also have the advanced mode here, which in this case, you'll be able to further customize the things or settings here. But for now, we, what we need to do is we want to go back here and click on continue. Now, from here, it's going to start generating that. So let's just wait for it. So in this case, what you need to do next is you need to choose the theme of your presentation. So there's going to be a lot of themes to choose from. But for now, we are going to use the piano theme here. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on generate. Now, in this case, it's going to start generating that. So let's just wait for it to finish. 
Now, as you can see, as it's actually generating, the text itself are being shown on how they are actually being placed on your presentation. Now, this might take a few seconds or a few minutes, depending how fast your computer or your internet connection. But in this case, let's just wait for it. And it is now done. Now, in this case, as you can see, this is our presentation. But the great thing about Gamma here is you can actually further customize your content here. Like, for example, if you click on a specific section here, like, for example, this section here, you'll be able to type something or type whatever you want. So as you can see, I'll be able to add some text here if I want to. Now, also at the right side, you have the smart layout, the basic blocks here. If you want to add blocks, like, for example, title, headings, 3x3 three three blocks, note box, info box, and a lot more. If you want to add videos and media, like for example, a gallery, a video or audio URL, Loom recording, YouTube videos, you could choose from one of them. You also have embedded apps and web pages if you want to, charts and diagrams, and forms and buttons if you want to further customize your presentation here. In this case, uh, there's going to be a lot of things that you should be able to access here on the website itself, and you'll be able to further uh, basically customize it to your liking. In this case, once you're done customizing your presentation or you're just good with the generated content here, what you need to do is you have two options. So you have the present and even the share button here. Now, if you choose present here, it's going to actually start presenting your, um, your presentation, which is something really cool. Now, we just need to use the arrows on your keyboard for you to uh, go to the next slides and whatever. Now, if you click on escape, that would actually escape the presentation. Now, if you want to present it in another tab, full screen, or share a follow link, you'll be able to do that. Now, if you choose the share button here, you'll be able to share this to collaborate or share or even export or embed this into different website. Now, if you choose to collaborate with someone, you can just add their emails here and they'll be able to access it. You also have the share button here, which in this case, you just copy the link here and they'll be able to actually view the specific project here. Now, if you choose export here, you'll be able to export it into PDF or PowerPoint. Now, if you choose embed here, you'll be able to add this to your website if you have any websites. But yeah, so this one is actually pretty simple and a lot of things that you do here. Now, with the Power AI, you could easily create a lot of presentations and cool presentations that would actually be a lot easier for you because AI would actually assist you. But it is actually recommended that you actually edit your presentation first just to make it more personal or make it more in your style. But in this case, yeah, so that's about it. It's pretty easy and ready to use. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.